Welcome back to Enshrouded, everyone. Super excited to be back with another episode today, joined again by Crimson here. And today we are exploring the new Melodies of the Mire update. I did a stream a little bit ago, kind of stepping foot into the new amazing biome and exploring a bit of the update. But now it's time to officially go through it. The new biome takes place as a map expansion up at the top of the map here, which will be really exciting. And it's essentially an extension of the Revelwood Forest. So I've downgraded it to a level 14 character here. Um, Crimson is still at level 25, so he hasn't done this biome or any of the update at all. So I'm excited to see your reaction, Crimson. And with that said, let's jump in. The first thing logging onto the world is that the flame has something to say with this new update. So let's check this out. Flameborn. I can hear an unfamiliar echo reverberate throughout the Revelwood. Its winding branches have made way for the light to shine through. A new path has opened, but what lies beyond is obscured by ancient roots and emerald vines. Breach the thicket and light my fire amidst the wilderness. Follow the melody. All right. Cool. New location charted, and I think by reading that, we get a new quest. Follow the melody there in the journal, and that's a big one. So I'll go ahead and oh set boy. that as the active one. We get a new NPC from that one there. So, uh, this will be fun. <laughs> Discovered a wildly untamed wilderness. And I think that is all the way up top on the map. Right up here is where we're headed. So we can go to the Revelwood fast travel. But before I do so, I also wanted to just mention a few upgrades and new tweaks. So if we go into my character here you can see that i can press r to customize my appearance and they added a whole vanity cosmetic system here uh and we can hide the helmet and hide the gloves while they're still equipped to provide armor buffs we can also put armor or clothing above our existing armor to create the look of our character while still providing the stats of the armor in our effective gear slots so that's pretty cool. And there's a bunch of other little tweaks and things. Uh, Player-based progression is one of them. So if we go into the journal and the quest, we'll see a missed quest section. So we can go back and complete quests that we may have not completed while others did, which is really exciting. So they're on the right path to creating just such an amazing game. So with that, I will join you up at the Revelwood Spire Crimson, and we can head out to Blackmire the new forest biome, which is going to be so exciting. So it's showing that it is in this direction over here by quite a ways. It's basically right up near Glenwood's End. Glenwood's End and that elixir well. So let's try this here. I guess I forgot to check as well. Do we have a uh, spare flame altar slot? Um, mm. We do. Uh, altar's active 7 out of 8. So if we want to put an altar over here just to go back and sleep, uh, if it gets dark, we can. Nice. All right. So there's the Blue Goblet Tavern. Um, and I think... Let's see, Blue Goblet Tavern. Maybe I'll head this way on this path. Kind of circle around. This was where we found the Hunter's Hand Spindle in this cave. And previously, the map just kind of ended with some mountains over in this direction. But now, I think it continues. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you think, Crimson. It's, uh, it's a pretty incredible update. Looks like they really uh, redid the, all the, like, melee combat, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely some new tweaks. You were mentioning earlier that you can swing a two-handed weapon much faster now. So they kind of balanced Thanks. it a bit, which is really uh, good news. And seriously upgraded the effectiveness of armor, it yes. looks like. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see how it does. Uh, there might be little bug patches and other things from here on out, but we we'll just have to see what happens. So, I think we head down into the shroud. 
uh, down in here. And as I was saying earlier, this biome is made to be done if you're around level 13 to 15. Um, so it might be a little easy for us, especially with our later game gear. But it should still put up a good fight, and at least it'll be so much fun to explore. So I figured we'd do this before uh, exploring the rest of all the hot biomes and other quests that we left off on. Alright, two new markers added. Ooh, here we go. Passage to Blackmire. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Quest updated. Follow the melody. As soon as we get out of the Shroud Crimson, let's uh, pop a flame altar down. And uh, get back and sleep because it's dark, but check this out. We're, we're basically under the roots of giant trees, and we get some previews of these giant trees in the shroud here. Just the shadows of these big trees consumed by the shroud. So That's a big stump. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so with that, let me place a flame altar. We'll get back and sleep, and then get back with you guys soon when it's daytime to see this beautiful sight as we enter the new biome. Okay, it is now daytime. And we are back at it, entering the biome here. So now we have to continue. Our quest was updated, and it says you've reached the mysterious new land. Uh, now we have to find the ancient spire in the Black Mire, and uh, travel oh. to the top. <laughs> there's the there's a trampoline. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. So right off the bat here, Crimson, there's a. Uh, there's a new, some new materials that we can uh, grab. So you'll notice if I mine the root uh, with a pickaxe, this is like a terrain material for these giant trees, which I like. It's very similar to how I built my big tree. We get black mire bark, which is a new type of stuff here. And then we also have foliage as a new type of block if we mine these bushes which is really, really cool. So we can build entirely custom bushes, leafy trees, everything entirely to however we want. Just super cool to add some of those new terrain materials. We also unlocked some new uh, recipes back at the workbench when we head back that are just default recipes from, uh, from the beginning, just with this new update, like a new type of roadblock and other things that they added finally. Nice. All right, so let's continue down through these that roots. Is... And there's the trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> it's a full, it can... like, ancient forest vibe. It's really, really cool. Can you build those? I hope so. I don't know that yet. <laughs> I didn't make it super far in the in the stream, but I you better if be you able can. to build those. That is way too far. If you can't, <laughs> oh man. I'll be yeah. very, very upset if you can't. It is way too fun. And yeah, the, even these rickety bridges with the vines on them, just the terrain tweaks, the render distance tweaks, and check that out. Look ahead at those Whoa. trees, Crimson. <laughs> Whoa! Can you walk around on them? Absolutely. They are so much fun and so amazing. So, yeah, we're pretty excited. This, this biome is just absolutely insane. I cannot wait to get building and everything else. But first, we gotta go through the exploration quest get the ancient spire in the middle of it to have a fast travel point and then see what happens next so maybe that'll be the goal for today is to get to the ancient spire oh boy that is oh you take a <laughs> lot of damage in there <laughs> whoopsies yep um you don't want to don't want to swim in the tar so uh they're on their way to adding water to the game with this update that's for sure because was... uh, it's a it's a very new mechanic with the way they've done the tar and the mud pits in this biome. It all bubbles up. You officially can kind of sink down into it, swim in it, and other things. And there's a few new surprises in the tar here that we might come across as well. But I'll wait for you to get back and get your stuff as we admire this amazing view. Just super, super cool. What a cozy, amazing biome to build in and everything else. There you go. Got your stuff back. Oh yeah, here's one of the guys that I, was, that I was thinking. We've got like alligator thingies that live in the tar and in the mud. So watch out for those guys. <laughs> How? Let's see. Oh. Yeah, they, they shoot a big tar sludge at you. Does a lot of damage. And uh, just don't get 
don't get hit by them or eaten by them. That's the other thing that may have happened to you if you uh, were in the actual tar pits. They do a lot of damage. A lot. But again, it's totally on their way to adding water to the game with the fact that, uh, with the fact that these guys can kind of swim in this stuff. Nice! There you go. Oh! Uh oh! No! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just in time. Oh my gosh. So these guys have reptile hide as a new uh, material. And by taking that, we unlock reptile leather at the drying rack. So possibly new armor, new clothing, all sorts of cool stuff. And then, by the way, you can run on this tar. As long as you have stamina, oh. you just have to jump really quickly before sinking in. Um, so yeah, just don't Wait. get out of stamina. Yeah, way too much fun. This is just, like, uh, yeah. Overwhelmed with excitement about this one. Boing. <laughs> and now we're in a hollow tree trunk here. And this was another I material. better add skateboards for this. <laughs> I know, right? The tree trunk half pipe. That would be cool. We get Blackmire heartwood by mining the inside of the tree here. So the outside is the bark, which we mentioned before, this uh, textured block here. And the inside is the heartwood. So that's really cool that they even paid attention to that. And it's very authentic, very cool. And the fact that we can just build that as a terrain block, I could totally build one of these massive trees anywhere in the world with these new blocks, which is really, really cool. You're having way too much fun on the trampolines. <laughs> Let me enjoy my childish bouncing uh, entertainment. Yeah, no kidding. It is it is a lot of fun. I just, I'm loving the detail, the attention that they put into this biome. I still can't believe it, how fast they came out with this update. But all these ancient statues and everything, it really, really fits in. The mossy ground yeah. materials. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not again. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> uh, at least your uh, gravestone spawns in a safe place and not in the mud. So they, they thought of that as well. So far, this update seems to be very smooth and non-buggy. Here's another one of the alligator things. There we go. Nice. That guy's out. Three more little reptile hide. And now we continue through these two giant trees to enter farther into this ancient forest. And this is really cool. We're just walking through a hollow tree trunk right here. <laughs> Again, the entrance me... into this biome is insane. <laughs> this reminds me a lot of uh, Monster Hunter World. Yeah. Yeah, where the first, like, location is a giant forest. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, was I not supposed to punch everything there? No, you can. I thought these were friendly the first time I came in here. Uh, but they're not. They're like evil wisp things of the forest. Uh, and as soon as they aggro on you, they multiply. <laughs> I see that. So, uh, yep, that's what happened there. And just taking this view of this amazing biome. This is nuts. And it looks like so, right off in the distance there is the spire that we're headed toward. You know, they really missed an opportunity to make the spire a really big tree. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait and see. It's. I mean, uh, I see a really big tree over there, but... It, it's it's very, very much like that. And that's, that's part of what makes it very unique as an ancient spire compared to others we've done. Um, it was quite a crazy experience scaling that thing on the live stream. Oh, we gotta get all these wispy things out, and I guess just continue following the path. There we go. Alright. And we got a big VUCA camp. See, this even more makes me think. These VUCAs are, are seriously just secretly Ewoks. They live in the tree mm. biome. <laughs> there we go. This character leveled up to 15. So this is on the slightly higher side of what they recommend for exploring this biome. Oh man, I am just wrecking face now. This is great. 
So you're using one of the new uh, two-handed weapons from the Hollow Halls update. Yep. There's some ice damage, some blunt damage. Using my magic punching skills. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right. And my my uh, magic punch actually has quite a bit of knockback. <laughs> and I should probably grab a sword out now that my wand has no more health on it. There we go. So I'm guessing this way. Uh, that's kind of closer toward the ancient spire. Once we get to the ancient spire, I uh, we can do a lot of exploring for all the rest of the biome and everything. But it'd probably be good to get there so we have a fast travel point. It's probably why it's the first quest as part of this new biome, actually. Yeah. This is just beautiful. <laughs> all right, watch out for the gators again. There's kind of a path off to the side. There we go. I'll go this way. Nice. Alright. And there's a VUCA camp up there. Is there a grapple point or any way to, uh, to get up there? Well, there you go. The updraft. <laughs> that... there's one way. Oh, these guys have, like, leather hoods on. Oh, yeah. New armor types. They've got their big wooden wolverine claws. <laughs> they throw spears at you. Upgraded Ewoks from before. <laughs> Neat. Archer boots. Oh, nice. All right. So, pretty good weapons at uh, if you're at this stage in the game kind of a thing. Um, we probably won't be taking many of them. They'll mostly be getting salvaged based on uh, where we are because this biome is uh, lower level, but... These are cool new building blocks. Found some new uh, new stuff down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah! An old ancient city down here. Yeah, so I didn't unlock these blocks in my stream, but I'm assuming they can be unlocked. Um... They do look very nice, and they match really nice with this environment, with the mossy texture there. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I guess we can explore this area. Looks like there's another one of those, uh, big mud beasts. I don't really know what to call them. If they can live in tar, they're not really crocodiles. They're, like, uh, mutant gators. <laughs> That's what they are. Dang. Oh my gosh, check this out, Crimson. We have a Hold windy on. staircase and a whole path meshing the city up into these little straw huts along the tree. This is totally just Ew. an Ewok village. And uh, this as well uh, is a new block. We have VUCA nesting material, and we can build with this to make little straw huts to look exactly like that, which is just super cool officially do really cool looking uh, straw roofs and everything. This guy did not get a very uh, <laughs> warm welcome. <laughs> nope. Oh, golly. Yeah, neat new furniture as well. These new benches, new tables. We can build all of that, which is really exciting. So many new things with this update. So yeah, we just wind up the tree. This is so cool. Right up into all these little straw huts, little jumping platforms and everything. Ooh, this guy's got a little grapple hook and a little, uh, thing right outside his deck. I gotta do a bandage there. Almost died from Here. fall damage. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Now this is this guy's little house. He's got a nice lookout over here. The poles there for the little canopy. This is really something. Alright, 
Yeah, I don't know what else we'll find in this tree. I uh, I never made it up this one in the in the live stream. This is honestly one of my favorites. This is really cool. All these little straw huts and things. This would be a really neat one to uh, take over and turn into a base. Oh, look what I found. I'll be there Way in up. just a second. I see a grapple hook up here, assuming maybe that's where you went, or- Oh! There's, uh, there's a little hut up there. Did you just kind of continue up around the grapple hooks? Oh my gosh! No. There's a full-on, like, treehouse arena thing up here. This is like the Wookiee City from Star Wars. <laughs> this is yeah. pretty freaking cool. I gotta say. Zoom out of my character there to see some more of the view here. This is just insanely cool. Man, these guys are feisty. Alright, I'll make it over to where you are soon, Crimson. And deal with all of these little, uh, feisty guys. Dang. This guy with the tree stumps is you're, pretty uh, nuts. There you're we go. looking a little, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little stunned right here. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, legendary chest up here. What has this one got in it? Ooh, there you go. Corrosive daggers. Take those and try them out, Crimson. See how you like the two-handed weapons. They are wicked fast. So they might only do like 18 to 20 damage, but you can swing them twice as fast. So they're like the equivalent of a 40 damage sword or something. And uh, I was enjoying them on the stream. They were They were a lot of fun. And you can also, uh, double, like, double click and do a special attack with them. Uh, so, like, click, click, and then pause for a second and double click, and it'll do a special attack. Doom, and then, yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. This is one heck of a cool tree. I like, uh, look at that. Is that, like, a big wasp nest that they built out of the terrain blocks up there on the branch? Yep. That's some crazy detail. Alright, so you went... Ah, I see. There's a grapple hook there. There's also one right here. And this was that yeah, tree that's... hut that you were in here. Oh, very cool. Very cool. There's a tunnel into this tree, by the a way. A tunnel into the tree? Oh, I gotta gotta make it up and there. And go spiraling all the way up. Alright, let, uh, let me come back up to where you were. Up and a these bed up hooks. here. That is awesome. Alright, and this grapple point. We could build the trampolines and put those on the trees, too. Oh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> Absolutely hey. insane. This is totally the oh. tree we gotta make a base in. This is just, this is cool. And then, yeah, the beds for the, uh, like, the little pod beds. These are so cool. Like, little bird's nests and things. And again, we can build all of that, all this new furniture. Put a lookout point there. This biome is just, yeah, you can see how after building all the giant trees, this is just everything I, I hoped for. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Yeah, the coziness and everything. Such a cool biome. Now I want to put down a flame altar here and build all the way to the top of this tree and go flying around. Oh, totally. Yeah. From the top of the tree. So you can see there, right ahead of us is the ancient spire. Notice anything about it from your tree comment? Well, it appears to be sort of taken over by a tree. Yeah, exactly. And you use that tree to your advantage to actually scale the ancient spire. It's it's Ooh, pretty fun. So you're, you go up the outside of this one. Right, for a lot of it. Yeah. And uh, some people, it's funny, I got so many messages after doing the stream uh, from people like, how did you not die? And I look back at them, I'm like, I don't know how I didn't die, because uh, apparently it's pretty hard, and a lot of people are falling off the branches and stuff uh, who weren't used yeah. to jumping at the right uh, heights or speeds or things. <laughs> so, uh, right. yeah, I guess if you destroy this window, we can uh, we can go flying for a bit, check out this biome from above. Super, super cool. Soaring through the treetops there. Let's see. Let me land for a little uh, stamina break right here. This is a nice uh, kind of medium-sized tree. I like how it's medium-sized and it's still like just as big or bigger than the giant one that I built. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. 
Oh, you already got over near the near the spire there. Let me come down yeah, to where I you are. Started with a considerable amount of stamina. Nice. Okay. And those are some large bee wasp things. Yeah, the large wasp. There's a VUCA hut down here if you want to help me take this out. And then I think there was some fun ways to actually get up the cliffside to the spire from down here. Let's the wasps see. shoot laser beams. That's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> the laser wasps, I think they just shoot like stinging poison at you. This is really cool though. And the locations here, this is uh, this is something. Oh golly! <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm Mr. coming. Mr. Wolverine over here uh, taking, yeah, right. taking me out far. This is, there we go. Even the staff's not doing much damage. There we go. My weapons will be dead. Youchers. All right. Well, I Ow. just do a health push. Even here. I take a considerable amount of damage from yeah. that dude. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy here. Got a little hut in here. Am I gonna unleash another one? Oh no, this one is a safe hut. Oh, it's got it upstairs too. I'm gonna check that out. That is cool. Oh, three levels. <laughs> That's just a big tall tower there. Neat. Got two beds over here if we needed it. That's cool. Alright, so from the VUCA here. Ooh. Snapjaw tar pits down there. It looks like from this area we've got a little tree limb here that maybe takes us across to the ancient spire. Oh yeah, down here, Crimson. This is what I wanted to show you. These are cool. Well, now I know what the crocodile things are called. Snapjaws, there you go. <laughs> Snapjaw tar pits. Oh, unless it's the weird flower thingies on the... I don't know. But check, check, uh, check this out. So we've got all these little platforms in the swamp here, but come over to where I am. And Hold these on. are what are super fun. You've got, first of all, like swinging grappling points and everything. But you've also got these flowers that you bounce up on to get up the hill. So these I... guys are not poisonous or anything. A lot of people were nervous to try these out because they're like, oh, they're they're poisonous and stuff. But they're fine. Unless these bouncy things are snap jaws, which don't really make sense. I think the crocodiles <laughs> are I called snap I think the crocodiles. Jaws. I think your crocodile idea was the was the right one. We've got an ancient obelisk over here. Entangled and suffocated, the wild spirit of Blackmire remains untamed. Winding roots entangle us, twist around all efforts of our kin. Everything fades into the sounds of the night. A symphony of sweet and somber melodies. We drown in them like bugs in the blackwater bog. Dragged below the vines, such unbound energy, shining bright like the stars. Alright. What is this thing? What oh, are you down at? <laughs> I got a done? Valor Heart Dagger. Ooh, nice. So yeah, there's some uh, cool, <laughs> cool ways to kind of scale the terrain over here. That's a lot of fun. So I think we just kind of wind around. And then uh, there might be a path or a way up to this ancient spire. There we go. Bounce up there. Oh, and then there's another one right up here. Perfect. Cling on to this thing. Climb up to the top. And there we are. This looks like the path to the base of the ancient spire here. Yep. Okay. Location above. Alright, I'll wait for you and then we will head up the elevator. But yeah, check this out. The whole ancient spire is just entangled in a giant tree. Ouch! <laughs> He kind of spams spams the laser thingies, the the little the, the, the wasps. <laughs> yeah, damn laser wasps. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Ancient spire of Blackmire. There we go. Before we go up the spire, can we go back? I need to repair stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, actually. Here's what we could do. Why don't you go back and extinguish the flame altar that we had, that little level one. And I'll place another okay. one at the base of the spire here. Sounds good. 
Oh, and then you can fast travel back here. Let's see. I'm gonna have to grab some stone. Yep, this uh, ground material still just gives us normal stone, which is good. All right. Oh, now Crafting. they give you a big red warning message. Yep, they do. <laughs> you can... Yep, so no more accidental extinguishing of flame altars. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need to use my ice wand for this one. There we go. <laughs> These guys are little buggers. Oh, man. There we go. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and place the flame altar so that you can get back here. Perfect. Okay. And these guys just give you critter parts, in case any of you were wondering. All right. So Crimson and I went ahead and slept so that it would be daytime again. Now we are going to scale the ancient spire of this biome here. Yeah, we've got something to read over here, actually. May as well check that out. I've never known such beauty. No brushstroke, no melody, no setting sun can compare to the beauty of this untamed wilderness. The lush green of the vines reminds me of my home before the drought. Without the ancients leading the way, I would surely end up lost. I am thankful for their guidance, but my heart aches for all the folks I left behind. Alas, this mission is important. It is our calling to scatter the cinder vessels around Ember Vale for every soul who cannot reach the Springlands in time, after all. The ancients want to send a signal to the worthy when the deed is done, but I wonder what they mean. Even when walking side by side, they are still eager to keep their secrets. Queen Jasmina. Alrighty. And we've got more stuff trying to sting us. <laughs> There we go. Cool. So a return beacon, and we can take the elevator. The wasps like to juke out of the way of staff attacks. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. They kind of dodge everything. That's kind of funny. All right. So another fireball thingy. This was similar to the Hollow Halls dungeon that we did. Uh, just jumping across it, and then we head into these doors. We've got some lightning thingies. And another set of doors, and some more of the good loot here. As I mentioned in my stream, I think this gives fairly average loot. Pretty good stuff sometimes, health potions and everything. But uh, nothing crazy that you wouldn't otherwise find in Revelwood uh, Spires and everything. So now we head up here, and there's a door over there with one button. Um, so if we could find the button, that would be cool. Mm. Yeah, and there's a chest behind it. I think... Ah, here we go, here we go. On the wall right there. And what do we got in there? Ooh! Two pieces of armor, wizard pants, and warrior chest. So these are really, really good for this, uh, this stage of the game. I have these pieces of armor collected, but this is a pretty early spot to be able to find them. And, uh, that's some pretty good loot for, for what's in there. Alright, you ready, Crimson, for, uh, for doing the, the oh. tree parkour? <laughs> yeah. I was gonna go this way anyway to look for the button, but... Alright. Hey. Alright, question next. Here, and... Yep. So just be careful of falling, and now we're on the next level of the Ancient Spire. <laughs> so it's kind of like a weave. You go outside, and then inside, and then outside, and inside, and it kind of repeats until we get up to the top. Another thing I forgot to mention, you'll notice uh, above Crimson's name, he's, it says Ragnar, uh, because they actually updated it so that you can finally put character names and not just be your Steam name above your character, which is cool. Nice. So uh, he hey, has a character name down Ragnar. Here that oh, won't yeah. open from the side. Doesn't open from the inside. I don't see a button icon above it. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Let's see if there's anything uh, up here. There's more. Oh, gosh. Okay. So we run over Oops. here and then run back. There we go. <laughs> oh, and here we go. It opens from the inside. Or, uh, no, that was a different level one. Interesting. It's definitely a windy spire. 
some bricks and things in these ones. Little chest over here. Shroud survival flask. All right. And another tree to parkour up. I guess this is another good reason to have the flame altar at the base, because if we keep uh, failing, we can just keep fast traveling to the base of it and start over. <laughs> Got a little bird's nest. That's kind of cool. A little bird's nest? Well, uh, a really big one. It'd be cool if they added, like, eagles or really big mounts uh, in this biome <laughs> to fly on. They really should add flying mounts That'd to be this cool. biome. That'd be really cool. And I think for here, we dig through this foliage. And then we can get up to this. And then uh, flower time. So we have to bounce the rest of the way up. And this is this was what was challenging. I think it's one and then two and three. And then we're at the top. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I almost made it to three, but... <laughs> almost got there. Just step on it and then... Uh-oh. Oops. Shit. Oh, I almost <laughs> made it to the... Try to clutch on one of the branches. Ah. Yeah. yeah, this one's tricky. This one's tricky. I'll wait for you up here. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Made it back up. So, I think ah. we head... Uh, where do we go? This kind of goes up here. I think we go down on this branch. Ah, yep. There we go. Then we wind back into the spire over here. And I was gonna say, there's a we door with two upgrade. buttons. Yeah. There's uh, there's two buttons on each of these doors with a chest locked behind it. Hmm. And I think one of the buttons... Ah. One over here. I found one. Where is the other one? Any below us? Doesn't look like it. Maybe if I go back oh, through I found these. It. You did? Awesome. Was it? Yeah, right below that in the room. Sweet. Okay. Yep. So right down there. Perfect. Yay. Okay. Open in this chest, we have an infernal wand at 21 damage and a forest longbow. I don't think we keep any of those, but pretty good. Go ahead and salvage them. And now, time to go to the top here. Absolutely love the views from up here. This is just super cool. And I do like the uniqueness of uh, climbing the tree to get to the top, even though it can be a little challenging. <laughs> and here we are. Nice. New light reaches out. My bright eyes see beyond the horizon, past the ever-winding roots of Revelwood. My keen ear hears whispers from below. A soft voice dances in the breeze like wind chimes. Travel across the sea of our lost civilization and free the trapped songbird below it. Ah, quest updated. Follow the melody. So if we go to our journal there... Ah, here we go. Sleeping Survivor. So, next step will be to awaken the new NPC, which I think we will save for the next episode. This is a really great stopping point. Absolutely gorgeous views over here. This is just insane. So much to explore, so many building possibilities. I'll have to hop on some live streams and maybe do a big treehouse build. That'd be fun. So, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. It was quite a lot of fun. Definitely stay tuned for next one. I will uh, also reveal some of the new recipes and building blocks and other things the next time we head over to the, the house in the next episode after we're completed with unlocking new things in this biome just to showcase all of that. But be sure to uh, join the Discord server through the link in the description. Also, huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for your support. And do be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.